Nick came to me getting ready to spend his last year at Project Search, which would have been a whole, it's a whole year of three internships where he was gonna be exposed to you know, different types of work environments through a hospital. And part of the process is to help guide you know, this young man into taking his strengths and helping him develop some of the things that he may struggle with um, as a young person with a disability and getting started in the workforce. So my first time meeting Nick was uh, at, well, I actually, I met Nick's mother at a uh, resource fair and we talked and um, I explained hireability and the services that we offer. And then when it came time for her to choose a provider, um, you know, when she would talk with Nick and they decided to choose Jeb's hireability. Uh, and that's how I became his job coach. We had talked about Atlantic Care. He really wanted to work in a hospital setting. Uh, so we put in the application at Atlantic Care. We had talked to Jen Van Setter um, about hiring Nick. Uh, and she was really on board. So I met Nick during one of the Project Search reverse job fairs. And fortunately, we were able to find a position for him within our logistics department that he's been, you know, happy and successful in. And um, it's referred to under the bridge program that we created here at Atlantic Care, which we're working in part with, you know, individuals like Nick and groups like Jevs to really make more placements to um, hire individuals with those special unique abilities. They had to open up a, a spot for him under the bridge program, which was just getting started. Um, so there was a little bit of a delay between graduation and employment. Um, and in that time, Nick was able to do Project Success, which is a program that Jevs Higher Ability has for uh, young adults that are no longer in school that are on the autism spectrum. Um, and that experience gave him opportunity to go out to different types of employment and uh, learn different skills through work-based learning. When we got the call that he was able to start at Atlantic Care, um, that was really exciting because he, he, he really wanted to work at Atlantic Care. When we went in to start his first day, um, he was pretty comfortable. He he listened and um, took direction really well. He worked all through COVID, which I'm so proud of him for doing that. He he really is um, a, you know a hero because they all of the people that were on the front lines. He's one of those. My name is Nicholas Cellini. I am 22 years old. I work at the Atlantic Care Regional Medical Center. My job is logistics technician. I fill carts with linen. I like it, it's really good. It's simple, it's relaxed, I don't need to hurry. It makes me feel happy and productive. I think that when you look at a um, situation like Nick's where he worked really hard through school and he did Project Search, which was a really inclusive program and then and went to project success and he did all these things to help him to be successful in his employment journey for the goal of having successful employment and he has really done that he is now successful in his employment and i see him growing in atlantic care and there are always opportunities for growth within a big company like that uh, so my hope is that he will be there, you know, for a very long time and that he'll grow within the company. I couldn't be more proud and it speaks to the testament of the team that worked with him and the patience that we all had in the process and just, you know, thank you to Jebs for kind of picking up that ball at the end and providing the supports to make Nick successful. Mm -hmm.